Hi, welcome to another Mindset Matters with Sandra. And today's episode is going to be about black and white, either or thinking. And I, hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips on how to notice a little bit more of the black and white thinking and really kind of what to do about it. Because I think many times uh, people find themselves, including myself, when I'm dealing with people that have a black and white thinking, or there is a situation that is very black and white, sometimes we find ourselves uh, disempowered or discouraged because we don't know how to move forward with that. It's like we only have two choices, so to speak. So I want to talk to you about this and see if perhaps you can uh, dislodge any hindrances that you are experiencing in, you know, while you're uh, experiencing this, this situation. Okay, so let's think about it for a moment. Um, if you're thinking negatively and you find yourself in conflict with another person or it could be at work, it could be a personal relationship, it doesn't really matter what it is. A lot of times what hinders you from making a shift is that you feel stuck or have no choice in the either or. Maybe in your own mind, as you are triggered and notice that you're bothering, bothered and uncomfortable in this situation, you corral yourself in the either or. This prevents us from making healthy decisions, correct decisions for ourselves, and, um, and, and prevents us from really moving forward in the most creative way possible. For some of you that know me very well, I am known to be uh, very adaptable. I'm very open-minded. Uh, I'm very much interested in uh, what makes other people tick. I'm also interested in understanding other people. And I think this is one of the gifts that I, that I have is I truly want to understand where the other person is coming from. Thus, I ask a lot of questions. I want dialogue. If there's conflict, this is kind of the way I'm processing as well so that I understand uh, where I am, how I can maybe resolve and bring more peace to a situation, to a relationship, whatever it may, may be. And I also recognize that many times others may not be willing to engage uh, in this kind of dialogue. Now, when you find yourself in a either or or black and white thinking, whether it's coming from yourself or another person, just stop. There's nothing to do. Don't feel pressured into doing what other people want you to do. Don't feel pressured if you feel it within your body or your mind is telling you, I only have two choices. It's pretty simple. If you find yourself stuck and confused in black and white thinking, then that's an indication, a red flag that you do need to stop. If you move forward with feeling pressured, then very, it's, it's, it's pretty sure that you're going to be making a mistake and that you'll be regretting. Usually in situations, unless they're life and death situations, you have ample time to make healthy decisions for yourself, how to engage with other people, how to resolve conflict. These are important aspects to becoming an emotionally intelligent person. What I have found about myself is black and white thinking isn't always a negative thing, as long as it's used properly. What do I mean by properly? When you don't take it seriously, when you don't act upon either or black and white thinking, and when you recognize that it actually is part of your processing. It's a nuance, but let me explain. So when I am bothered or I need to tap on something because I'm uncomfortable, there is a very brief moment in time where I find myself in a either or black and white, either because I feel that way by somebody else or a situation or in my head, I'm, I'm in my trigger 
and you can probably relate to this, is sometimes you kind of talk to yourself a little bit and say, I'm just going to tell that person, or no, this is the way it's going to be, right? Just for that moment. Okay, that could be five minutes. It could just be half a day. It could be, you know, it doesn't really matter. At least for me, there's a very brief time lapse. So when I'm in that state, there is confusion for me. There's this weird nuanced confusion for me. That is an indication for me to stop. That's like a little, you know, door that closes on me. When I'm in this state, I, I really, even though it's uncomfortable, I recognize that this is a time for me to really tap on whatever that situation is that is hindering me from finding the third, fourth, fifth solution. Okay, so this is really what's important. When we can stop and tap on what's bothering us, what we find is that as we discharge the negative emotions or the black and white thinking, however you perceive it, your subconscious begins to open up. It's like another window or another door to your temple. And if you are patient with yourself and patient with life, it will come to you. The solution, um, the resolution to a conflict, the way you might speak to another person, the way they speak to you, very well may change. Or it could just be that as you're tapping and healing and then releasing, that you might muster the courage to really be more vocal with another person or uh, be influential to changing a situation. Whereas before you wouldn't find yourself that way because you acted upon the pressure of black and white, either or. And this is exactly what I'm discouraging you from doing. In most situations, if it's not a life or death, you have ample time to make a decision. So if you're smart about it and you tap and you resolve, you'll find that the solution comes to you. It might not come to you by the end of the day. It might not come to you a few days. You might even have to wait a little bit of time, depending on the situation. But rest assured, it comes. If you just continue tapping on your own black and white thinking with the intention of trusting, trusting the process, trusting the tapping, trusting the universe, God, if you have faith, trusting in that as well, to guide you to a resolution or a solution to whatever your problem, pain, issue, or symptom can be. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. If you want to comment below, please do. Please share my videos, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow. And in the meantime, I look forward to hearing from all of you. Take care and we'll talk soon.